Missed that little jingle. <laughs> right. All right, so what do we got? All right, our first one comes from AJ Powell saying, I have a criminal record for dishonesty type offenses. I have a friend who is a U.S. citizen and would be staying there if I was granted entry. I have not been in trouble for about six years and want to travel from the U.K. Can I do this? Not with some dishonesty visas, not some with dishonesty things unless you get a waiver because he said multiple arrests. So that at least yeah. sounds like two crimes of moral turpitude or more. So he's going to need a waiver. So, All right, so the, next... the answer is yes, but you need a waiver first. So it's not just show up on an airplane. Got you. Mm, I might pronounce this wrong, but the next one comes from Sampol um, Bamrangji Um If I did not win a DV lottery, should recheck every month until September 30th, 2021, because some people who won may disqualify. Is it true? No. Because they, they take that into consideration. So if you didn't win, you didn't win, unfortunately. Okay, next one is from Andrea Barna saying, uh, I'm, waiting my, uh, I'm waiting for my oath ceremony appointment in New York. What do you think? When will we be starting the ceremony in the city? I hope soon. I pray to God soon. I don't have an answer. I, I think eventually they'll have to do it by video, but uh, I don't know when. Mm, got you. If I had, if, the by the way, and by the way, if I had to take a guess, it's because Trump is purposely delaying it because they could easily do it by video. He just doesn't want to make more right. American citizens for the November election. Ah. All right. Next one comes from Brisebi Breeze Perez, and she asks, what is the faith for Nigerians on IR1 application currently on AP? What is the fate of Nigerians Wait. on AP, I guess, advanced parole? You can, Nigerians can travel on advanced parole. Just go for a short trip and come back. Okay, doke. Okay, um, I don't know if this makes sense to you, but Nisha is saying, when you, will you do the session about questions and sessions about family immigration? When am I doing those sessions? Right now, yeah. ask your question. Yeah. So is that what they're <laughs> that, talking about? I okay. guess, I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I think okay. they asked now. Yeah. Go to the next one, uh, Yo-Yo. All right, yeah, Chidi, uh, Chidi Ma saying, uh, my temporary green card is not up till one year. Uh, my husband is threatening to divorce me. What should I do? Uh, if your green card, you have a two-year green card and you're getting threatened to be divorced, then don't let your husband threaten you. Say, all right, I'm happy. You don't, you don't, I'm happy. You're not happy. Let's get a divorce. And as long as you can prove it was a real marriage from the time you got your green card to the time you started a divorce that you live together, you still get your permanent green card. You do it on your own and tell him, get lost. Okay, squad, the next one comes from Miguel Jaramillo, and he asked, in my case, my undocumented wife left me and has started if, and has stated if I do not fix yeah, her we, legal we spoke, status. Yeah, we spoke with him oh, on the this phone. Is, yes, yeah, right. yeah, that was, yeah. Um, boss, this one comes from Boston Celtics. Do I lose my social security number if, if I lost my immigration case and ordered for final deportation. Your social security number is good for life, but if you have an order of deportation, I wouldn't expect that you'd be living here for a very long time. All right. Uh, next one comes from Ma uh, Maher saying, we received qualified letter on November 5th, 2019. Our priority date is August 28th, 2006. F4 case. Now, how many uh, have do we have to wait more? What happens next? Well, you have to process through the National Visa Center, and you're going to wait at least till January 1st of next year, because right now Trump put uh, out his proclamation that no immigrant visas for the F4 category between now and December 31st. So sometime, hopefully next year, you'll be processing here. But in the meantime, you're going to process through the National Visa Center with the affidavits of support and the police clearances and everything else. Okay, this one comes from Moha Official, and they ask, Hi, had my first case felony and my family still there. I asked the judge for deportation. It was my mistaking. Is there a way for me to come back? Mm, I'm not he, he, was, sure. he was ordered deported. He wants to be able to come back. I don't, know, yeah. I don't know what his case is about. He would need to call us from wherever he may be. I would have to get his immigration records through what's called the Freedom of Information Act request, and based on that, review it and see if there's a way to get him back. 
All right, Stephanie Momo is saying, I'm about to fill out forms DS2029, DS5507, DS11, DS3053 for CRBA and passport uh, application. Now, does the expiration date uh, of the form matter? Because the one available on the website will expire on uh, June the 30th, so yes, tomorrow. Yes, expiration dates matter. Okay, and do you advise to apply for social security number at the same time? Uh, as what? As applying for a U.S. passport? As applying for the passport application. No, this, you would have to. CRBA. If, 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 if you have no legal status in America and you're applying for a U.S. passport because you believe you're a U.S. citizen, you would need to get that U.S. passport first before applying for a social security number. Okay, the next one comes from Samar Hyder, and he says, I am a U.S. citizen, and my wife receives an email of, docu of documentary qualifications on April 9th, 2020, and I have submitted all required documents, I-864 and DS-260, on, um, Feb on February in February 2020. Does she require to fill out DS-5540 um, and bring health insurance proof in the interview? Yes. Okay, Roberto yes, Gutierrez. Is. All right, ready? Yeah. Roberto Gutierrez uh, saying greetings from Lima, Peru. Okay. And squat right. up. Squat up. From yeah, Lima. Um, yeah, from Lima. Squat up is and, going around and the he, world. Yeah, and uh, he knew about it squat go, up. It is going around the world. Yeah. Wherever you go, you can find a, somebody saying squat up. There you go. Yeah. There you go. All right, um, so what about those uh, who those whose immigrant visa are about to expire and are unable to travel to, uh, to the U.S. due to pandemic borders closing. Uh, are they able to reissue once the consulates reopen? It's, it's a problem. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, hopefully the consulates will reissue it to you. Uh, you may have to reapply again. I'm not 100% certain what the consulate's going to do. We got it. It's going to be consulate by consulate and case by case. Uh, but I don't have an answer for you right now, unfortunately. It's a, it's a precarious situation. Yeah. They have not announced what's oh. going to happen. Mm. Okay, this Vanessa? one comes from Sha Shaikh Mohammed Abram, and he says, my parents entered the U.S. last month, but they cannot get their green card yet due to COVID-19. My question is, can they petition for me, and I am single and ab above 21 years old, hope you got the answer is yes. Point. The answer is yes, because they entered on an immigrant visa. So just because their green card hasn't been issued to them yet doesn't mean they're not a lawful permanent resident of the United States. And the answer is yes, you can file the I-130. Okay, Nisha is saying re-entry permit on green card holder. Uh, people can come. So can they re-enter? Uh, is there a re-entry permit on green card holder? People can come. The answer is that's yes. The only, if you have a re-entry okay. permit... And you're you're not from a country that's barred. You can come. You're, okay. There's a reentry permit. So is you have you're a lawful resident of the United States. So unless you are coming from Brazil, which there is a two week, you have to be in another country for two weeks, uh, or you're coming from a European country. But even from a European country, lawful residents can come back. So I think short of China or Brazil, you should be allowed back even with a reentry permit because you are a lawful resident of the United States. Okie dokie, this one comes from Sasha Ford, and she says, Hi, Uncle Brad. Did you hear anything about the second wave of stimulus checks or the idea of them giving us a check until the end of the year? Just I, I don't, I don't okay. know. I don't know about second wave of stimulus checks. I hope they do. Uh, from what I read in the news, um, that sometime uh, towards the middle to end of July, um, the Congress wants to reevaluate and do something uh i don't know what it's going to be yet whether it's stimulus checks whether it's more paycheck protection program whether it's um unemployment on steroids all of those things they've done so far i don't know what they're going to do i love that they asked you these type of questions yes. like, <laughs> like that's, why, that's, why, the, that's why i have the magic eight ball magic eight ball <laughs> when will that right. i mean i can ask magic eight ball i should have i should have asked the magic eight ball Magic right. eight ball. When will that second round of stimulus checks come, Magic okay. Eight Ball? Uh, it just all the Magic Eight Ball says is you may rely on it coming, but we don't know when. So the Magic right. Eight Ball says yes. Magic Eight Ball says yes. Giving us hope. Right, giving us hope. Listen, I'll take it. I'll yes. take it. 
All right, uh, Mary Donker saying, please, uh, is it possible for USCIS uh, to approve I-130 and I-485 at the same time, four to five months of uh, the Stokes interview? Yes. Cool. Uh, the next one comes from Destiny Daniel David saying, uh, thank you so much, Brad. I am your regular follower on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, when will the USCIS start appointments for I-485 interview? My interview was canceled because of COVID. I think uh, you I, I have think the got We got to ask Dr. Fauci that. Can we get Dr. Fauci on our show and ask <laughs> Dr. Fauci when people will be able to go back into an office building and have interviews? That's when. All right, Paul saying. Uh, but, my guess, but, but, in, but in all honesty, my guess is is that I am sure at some point they're going to have to make just like everybody else's video conferencing. Um, they'll have to be video conference interviews for green cards. They're doing video conference deportation hearings. So I don't understand why they can do a video conference deportation hearing, but they can't do a video conference adjustment interview. I think eventually it's going to have to happen. All okay. right. Um, Paul saying, my question is uh, s simple. During this pyramid, uh, period, uh, can someone still file for a motion to reopen a previous decision from a DHS officer? If it's within 30 days, yes. If not, you got to refile again. Okay, this one comes from Kaora Ma, and she says, or they said, uh, hi, Brad. Uh, what are your thoughts on the USCIS furloughing 70% um, of the employees and how this is going to affect think, processing time? I, I think it will suck. It will, nobody will get through, uh, but they have not furloughed anybody yet. I think um, USCIS, I believe, last I read, says that they are funded through August 3rd. So they are asking Congress right now for funds. The way USCIS works is they, they, get, they, they pay themselves through the filing fees that immigrants pay. So it's self-funded USCIS. The U.S. taxpayer yeah. doesn't pay one penny for USCIS. So, but right now, because of everything that Trump has done, he's basically sabotaged USCIS because nobody's making applications. And as a result, their filing fees are way down, so they can't afford to pay their employees. So either Congress is going to step in or it's going to be one big cluster F-U-C-K come August 3rd. Let's hope it doesn't happen. Yeah, that was a two part. He just said, I have an I-751 pending. So he was bummed about the news. I'm bummed about it, too. All right. Two more, guys. Two more. All right. Um, so uh, Coyote saying, uh, hey, Uncle Brad, I uh, wanted to ask if USCIS issued Noir. Uh, and the petitioner mm -hmm. or applicant respond uh, when USCIS likely issue final decision due to COVID-19. I, I say that again. I apologize. Okay. I um, wanted to ask if USCIS issued a noir and the petitioner uh, or applicant responds. Uh, when is USCIS likely issue final decision due to COVID-19? Does right, it make so, sense? Yes. There's uh, a noir. Sounds like uh, a French uh, uh, coffee house film, but, uh, <laughs> but I think he's referring to a NOID, a notice of intent to deny, uh, which is, and then you respond to it with whatever evidence to say, don't deny me. This case should be approved. Immigration's supposed to respond within 120 days, but even before COVID, it was taking sometimes longer. So I don't know when they will respond to you specifically, but it's supposed to be within 120 days. Okay, and then last one um, from Rupin Talkudar. And they say, hi, my spouse is waiting for an interview abroad, now immigration ban. So this situation, can my spouse get a visitor's visa? And if I get a visit visa, is it any effect in the future for spouse interview? Your spouse, uh, is, is, are you a U.S. citizen? Your spouse may be able to try to get a visitor's visa uh, and come and visit.